What's up YouTubers, KB back with some more Pixel Gun awesome update that recently just came out and I'm just going to be buying some weapons now. Uh, basically, I don't think I have enough to purchase every weapon. I'm not a, I don't know if I'm going to like the Cherry Bomb or the other uh, backup or pistol weapon, but I'm just going to... Uh, I don't think I'm going to get it yet. Um, this, yeah, this right here. I'm not a, I don't know, I'm not really too big on the area effect, but I'm going to get this pistol though. But on this particular video, we're just going to jump into some of the uh, base cannon uh, gameplay. So let's just jump into that now. We're going to play on D-Day, which is basically a World War II theme map. As you see here, <laughs> right off the bat, getting nice kill. It makes an awesome noise. It has a huge kick. The projectile, wow, that was really fast. Um, but the projectile of the the beats, or you want to call it, it just sounds amazing. But it's extremely slow. It's not like a bullet. You can literally probably dodge it. Like this guy had no idea what was coming. How did he not hear these awesome beats coming his way? This map is huge. It's it is very open. There are some like uh, as you see here, I'm, uh, uh, some holes and little caverns, and I'm up top uh, on the cliff side. There's a lot of bunkers and different various other terrains to uh, kind of avoid. I'm trying to figure out where everyone's at. I think this. Uh, slow server here. You can kind of hear noises in the back and so forth. People are joining here. There we go. But this map is pretty awesome. See someone just die up there. I'm looking around. People usually get me pretty fast to be quite honest because this is uh the area effect is not the greatest because you have to hit them pretty much dead on as you can see here. The, this guy went jumping. Then someone hit me from behind and I missed that. He jumped again. And boom, goes a dynamite. And how do you feel alive? And I got shot from behind. Again, not a bad gun, but definitely not worth 250 coins. It's definitely cool and awesome in that sense, but yeah, don't waste your coins on this particular gun. Uh, it's. It. Yeah. And there's not much to say to this because this is uh, breaking it down on if you're running against someone with a minigun or any other kind of weapon to be quite honest, you have to get a direct shot pretty fast. And close quarters again, there's going to be the, some of the area effect and you can and sense hurt yourself and so forth. This guy went to this guy off. Let's see if we get a hit. Boom. Gotcha. This guy's in here and someone just lobbed a cannon in there. That was awesome. Uh, I'm gonna hit from a minigun, and I get killed. See, I wasn't even had plenty of time to react. This guy spawns next to me. Oh, snaps! Get this guy. Ooh. How's this guy still alive? And I get hit from the minigun behind again. But yeah, if you have 250 coins to throw away, definitely pick this up. If not, please don't pick it up. It's not worth your time. I hope this video helped in a lot of ways. And I got oh, the guy spawned right next to me again. Thank you, sir. And you see this guy right on top of the minigun or the cannon up here? That's mine. Goodbye, sir. Boom. Yes, 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 yes. Boom. Yes. Got him. Again, thank you for watching. This is KB with more videos coming soon on the different weapons and so forth. Um, don't forget to check out my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'll be posting on upcoming sub-matches and some other cool things that are coming for Pixel Gun 3D to my channel. This is KB, signing off. Peace!